All right, welcome everyone. Good evening. Do a really quick intro. My name is Kara Orpal. I'm the state program manager here in the Seattle um, Uber Engineering Office. A little bit of background to our office. We opened this site in March of 2015, where I started shortly thereafter with 30 people and we're nearing, very closely nearing 300 in this site today. So um, a lot of really exciting growth here. Um, thank you all so much for coming out. And with that, I'm gonna pass it over to Prabhu to welcome you all to the uh, microservices meetup. Thank you. Thank you, Kara. So I'm uh, just to introduce myself. I'm uh, Prabhu Krishnamurthy. I'm one of the engineering managers here uh, in developer platform, sometimes also known as developer experience. Just for a little bit of uh, context of uh, what we want to do to do today. So this is our first uh, microservices test platform meetup here in Seattle. Uh, so we're pretty excited uh, to kind of uh, kick this off. And uh, for context. What we will have today and what we plan to share is our, our work focused mainly on our, uh, the reliability uh, infrastructure that we've built for uh, microservices. Uh, if you have questions about like, uh, we, we will not cover mobile or web products. I know uh, Uber has a lot of those. Uh, that's not something we would talk about today. And uh, also about, uh, if, if, if we, as, we, as the talk said, reliability, we wouldn't talk about security aspects. So uh, that's just for uh, setting some context of what to expect today. Uh, there will be two uh, talks. I will, uh, I'm just here to welcome you all. Uh, and uh, first, Shiva will talk about uh, the overall uh, reliability platform, uh, the various tools that we've built for developers, and how we approach uh, reliability at the, at the macro level. Uh, and then we'll have a, a deeper talk focused on our uh, chaos engineering efforts. Uh, Diane will uh, talk about that in detail. Uh, so just to uh, set a little bit of context of uh, the world we operate in. Uh, so developer platform, we are a team focused on our uh, engineers. So essentially our customers or users of what we build are uh, developers. Uh, so just to uh, get some context of the world we operate today. Uh, so we have uh, over uh, thousands of services, so 4,000 plus today. Uh, there are a number of mobile applications and web applications, both internal websites as well as externally facing websites. And one of the unique challenges for us uh, as in supporting developers is there are so many libraries and packages that have been built. Uh, a lot of open source ones and a lot of internal uh, library developers as well as uh, teams that uh, that ships something as packages and others consume it. So there are a huge number of dependency versions. And uh, when we grew fast, that led to a lot of uh, using of different languages and different repositories. And our engineering team has grown very rapidly uh, to thousands now. What are, what are two of the key challenges that come with it? And the, number one is scale. And at this scale, uh, I would say there are, there are two aspects or two dimensions you can look at the scale. The growth in terms of users of Uber's products and, uh, and the actual products or offerings uh, externally. So this has grown and what this has led to is infrastructure that has grown. Uh, so right now uh, we have uh, our data centers and some of our cloud zones. So the infrastructure underlying has become complex and it's grown over, uh, over time. So that's one uh, problem of scale. The other problem of scale uh, is, is sheer engineering activity. Uh, now the graph, uh, I know you don't see the numbers there, but if you see the, the blue line at the bottom shows our uh, engineering uh, engineer count. So essentially that has grown linearly from a few hundreds uh, several years ago and now uh, it's in the thousands. So that's, that's growing. But what's more interesting and makes it challenging is developer velocity, which if you think about it in number of commits per week uh, or the number of uh, changes they're making per week, that's actually grown way faster than the developers. Uh, and partly because uh, as developers work here more and more, they become more efficient with the tools, they're committing more. And actually we've created a lot of tools now that create auto commits. So there's more, uh, more activity as a result of that. So, uh, these create reliability challenges for us uh, in, in one main area, which is surely changes. And I'm sure uh, most of you have this experience. Uh, so code changes and commits happening every week. 
these can cause uh, outages or uh, SLO violations in areas. So this is one problem that we have to provide uh, a solution for. And the second thing is the underlying infrastructure itself, say for example, uh, a part of network or part of a storage system, any of these can actually have failures too. So uh, while development teams design uh, their systems to be resilient to these, uh, they do happen in production and we wanna provide them the best uh, tooling and infrastructure for them to build. So what is our mission as developer platforms? One of the early um, mission for us uh, when Uber grew in the early days was autonomous teams that would really, really focus on velocity and uh, move fast. And uh, we've evolved that now to uh, speed and velocity with quality. And that's, that's something that we cannot, it's not one or the other. We want to move fast at the same time. We want to move them, uh, in a, help them move these changes in a safe way. So that's really uh, how, uh, what we're trying to do. With that goal, we approach it in three areas. One is our developer tooling. That's what you'll hear about today. The second area is our frameworks. Uh, so uh, we have uh, some of those themes in developer platform, our serverless frameworks, our workflow infrastructure. And there are many frameworks we uh, help with uh, product developers and other teams to build that. And the third area is infrastructure in general at a, at a broad level, our compute storage and networking platforms and uh, data platforms and so on. So with that, 